In this animation, we're going to work through a couple of examples using DC source conversion. In general, we have two types of DC sources, DC voltage sources and DC current sources. Each source type representation includes internal resistance. We'll now move on to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to convert between these two source types while maintaining the same internal resistance. The ability to convert between source types can be extremely useful when performing nodal analysis or loop analysis as well as when attempting to create Thevenin or Norton equivalent circuits. In part one of our demonstration, we'll create the equivalent current source for a 12 volt voltage source having an internal resistance of 75 ohms. These circuits will behave identically when a load is connected to them. In the second part of our practical examples, we'll be converting a 50 milliamp current source with an internal resistance of 300 ohms to its voltage source equivalent. Once again, the two resulting circuits will behave identically with respect to a connected load. We'll begin with our 12 volt voltage source, which has an internal resistance of 75 ohms. As it's our intention for both sources to contain the same internal resistance, we simply use the same resistor value for our second configuration. We move on to calculate the current source value by applying basic Ohm's law. The appropriate current source value is arrived at by dividing the voltage by the internal resistance. We find that the appropriate current source value is 160 milliamps. On completion of our conversion, we now have two circuits that will behave identically with respects to points A and B. We'll now move on to the second part of our example and perform the same type of conversion in reverse. We begin with our 50 milliamp current source, which has an internal resistance of 300 ohms. Once again, the same internal resistance is used when doing the conversion. Ohm's law is once again employed to calculate the required voltage source value. The value is arrived at by multiplying the current times the resistance. As can be seen, the required voltage value is 15 volts. With the conversion complete, we once again have two versions of a circuit that will behave identically with respects to points A and B. As has been shown in these simple examples, source conversion is quite easy. It's a great tool when you're using DC linear network theorems for circuit reduction purposes.